Hey, Kyle Brown here with Climb Supply. Quick update. Uh, Kickstarter is done. Successful. Successfully funded our uh, version 2.0 brew system, which is based on the version 2.0 controller. And I wanted to quickly just give you a quick update on the um, a couple of things. So first of all, thanks for everyone who supported. Um, we really appreciate it. It means so much to us. And uh, second of all, we've decided to implement a few last minute upgrades just to make this thing as money as possible. Um, number one, we're going to put a button on here that allows the user to quickly cycle between a set point, a set point heat function and a um, just a percent of power function. So if you want to run it at 100% power, instead of getting into the settings to do that, you'll just hold down a button and it will flip you over to uh, percent power mode or you can hold the button down again it flips you back to the set point mode so that'll just make it easier to use um, which we're really excited about second thing is that we are going to replace this plug um, with a GFCI plug it's going to cost us about oh gosh six or seven dollars a unit to do that which is actually pretty significant but um, it, in our opinion it's just worth it for a um, for peace of mind, you know. Currently, we're expecting everybody to be plugging these into GFCI outlets, and that puts a lot of, you know, that puts the onus on the user, um, and that makes it like quote I guess their problem if they don't do that. But we'd rather just make sure that everybody's covered, everybody's protected. Um, if something goes wrong with something, you spill water on the cord or the controller or whatever, uh, spill your wort on that. Um, nobody gets hurt so we're just gonna go ahead and upgrade this to uh, have built-in GFCI and um, that's not gonna increase the cost to the user we're gonna eat that cost but I think it's gonna be worth it um, just to make sure that you know nobody everybody's using these as they should be used which is with GFCI protection um, and then the last thing is that um, the probe on the shipped unit will be uh, it's gonna be waterproof um, which is super cool that means that you will be able to use the controller, um, you know, for other things other than just for brewing. It currently, you uh, the way the controller works is that you you put the probe into a thermo well that will come with the uh, kettle. Um, but if you wanted to use this to measure, for example, the temperature of a wort sample for um, doing pre-boil or post-boil gravity, just pull the th the um, probe out of the thermal well, put it down into your test tube, and um, you'll be able to temperature correct your wort, which would be great. So that's that we're really excited about that as well. And um, again, all these upgrades, um, they're you know the price isn't going to change for everybody. The the price is going to be the same to you guys. It's, it's going to cost us a little bit more, but we th we feel like it's going to be worth it. It's going to make this thing um, even cooler than it already is. So. Thanks again for everybody who supported uh, the, the Kickstarter. If you want to, um, we still have a few units left for pre-order um, for the first round of shipping, which will happen hopefully at the end of June. We're still planning on hitting that target. And then, um, so you can get in on that now. The link to that product will be on our website. And then we'll have another batch of controllers that will ship shortly after that. But yeah, if you want to get in on the first round of shipping, follow the link. Um, below this video and do the pre-order now on our website. Thanks for watching. See ya.